Hello, this is GeoTechLand, and today I'll be talking about the RPCS3 emulator version 7972. But I'm also going to be uh, talking about what I'm going to be doing in the future for emulator videos. So stay tuned. And overall, the three games I usually test Red Dead Redemption, Uncharted, and God of War 3 haven't shown any improvement. Uh, with my specs on Windows and Linux. So starting with Windows, um, this time I chose to just screenshot it because there was no point in recording during gameplay anymore since it's the same, um, it's more or less the same performance. As you guys can see here, the FPS is at 2.19, which is about what you expect on Windows here. And then for Uncharted, you more or less get four or five, sometimes it goes to seven FPS here. So more or less the same here. This is still on Windows. And here's just some more screenshots of it. The FPS changing up here. And for God of War, more or less the same. You get about two to three. Sometimes um, it can go, I guess, to like five. I've seen it a few times. No difference there. Now on the Linux side, you have um, Uncharted and it's more or less at 5 FPS similar to Windows maybe a little bit better at times it gets up to like 7 or 8 as well and as you can see on the top here it shows 7.8 here it shows 8.2 so maybe this has some sort of delay in showing the FPS 2 here and of course I can get to the stage 2 on the Linux version and then for Red Dead Redemption, again, two, about 2 FPS here on average. Interesting with God of War is that on Windows, if you load the default settings of RPCS3, it will not boot. It'll be showing like 2000 FPS or something crazy. And so I've been advised by some RPCS3 experts to change it up to... Um, or to enable the FPS limiter to and so I've limited to 60 FPS and on Windows it really helped get the game running but on Linux you can see in this clip that it didn't work it does show the FPS at 60 but it still isn't working and not booting so there you guys have it it's uh, uh, nothing noteworthy to show here because these emulator videos take so long to make you know i actually have to test three games uh, multiple times on both operating systems i won't really be doing much of these comparisons in the future when it comes to emulators i'm going to be mostly focusing on linux because this channel itself is mostly going to be a linux open source and gaming uh, channel and so i'm going to be you know showing off the emulators on Linux. I will occasionally do a comparison to Windows, you know, every once in a while. And, you know, I'll be doing Steam Play videos when it comes to gaming, and then just everything else I do when it comes to like Linux, open source, etc. I'll still do Windows when I get new hardware, which should be in the next few months maybe. I'll get the new AMD CPUs, and it'll be interesting to see the performance compared to Windows and Linux and then just Windows itself. I'll actually still be testing in all these emulators, even on Windows and Linux, but I just won't be recording videos on it. I'll probably be posting um, my findings on social media, specifically Mastodon. That's where I'm most active there, so you should follow me there. Create a Mastodon account if you don't have one already. If you enjoy my content, please like, share, subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time.